How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Scanner Somber. Uh, we have the material scanner, which is letting us determine this, this here. Yep, that's wood. That's made out of wood. So now we can actually go up it. Or now we now we know we can safely go up it. I mean, honestly, I kind of like this is prettier looking, but it's kind of a mess once you're actually trying to like do a lot of platforming and stuff. This is a little cleaner. I I feel at least. It's cleaner when you're for trying to actually do like platforming, looking around kind of stuff. It's not as pretty though. What is this? What's green? Oh, it uh, means it's like materials. Okay. Or rock. It should be. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I felt like my scanner should be reaching out further, but I guess not. Oh, I'm at the top here. Hey, right here. We made it. What's this? Oh, this is a railing. That's good. See, that's safety right there. OSHA compliant right here. For sure. Those those ghosts we saw. Oh, no. See? Oh, see? Oh, we gotta get these fixed, guys. These, uh... You can't really... can't really just kind of leave railings broken like that. I mean, I'm sure there's some kind of safety guideline. Some kind of code. That you're not following if you do that. Oh, 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 okay, jeez. Alright, do a burst. This thing's like, these guys are freaking out. Alright. So we gotta find, I'm guessing we gotta find, oh, whoa, what's all this blue stuff? What does blue mean? Oh, maybe blue's like cement, I guess. Okay, no, we didn't. We we. This is new. Okay. I was gonna say I saw the broken railings before, but nope. This is all brand new. Not stepped foot on this area yet. Does it matter that all this is in my memory? Wait, are we not actually doing this live? Oh, are you soma somaing me right now? Does it make it any less real? You're somaing me, aren't you? We're not real. We're just reliving a memory or a fake memory or something. I was there. I was the first. I. Why did my scanner get all jacked up for a second? Okay. Sure. Nope. Not gonna get me, ghosts. Not today, ghost boys and girls. Well, maybe. I don't know, I don't know what year the mining group was in place, so... Maybe they supported female workers? Oh, it looks like that's probably like for a museum or something. Yeah. This is definitely like a mining museum. Have you ever been to Knobles, PA? Um, they have something very similar, the little mining museum. They have a, like a giant log of all the accidents. And you'd be amazed about how many accidents are fatal in a mine. Like, there was legit one that was like, uh, like January 5th. Uh, Caven collapsed today. 14 dead. Names listed below. And it's just like, that's like just another day of the job. Ah, oh, man. So glad I live in 2018. We're going to have to mine. And work on computers instead. And record YouTube videos. Definitely, definitely not my full time job. Quite yet. <laughs> I'd like, I would like it to be, to be honest. I'm really enjoying doing this. And I'm really enjoying hearing back from you guys. But. I think I'm quite a ways away from making any kind of money from YouTube, let alone enough to support myself and my wife. <laughs> but one day. Hopefully. Ooh, what's this? I remember coming down like it was yesterday. Okay, so that's something. Hoping I'd find something below. Hoping it wouldn't be another empty cave. I just wish I'd been better prepared. Wait, do I, like, zero in on it? No. Okay, so I need to find a way to get into there, I guess, maybe? I don't know. It's... Game's not really giving me directions, it's just basically said, hey, here you go. Here's some red dots. 
some red things in the distance. It, wait, what? Why were there dots there? Was I supposed to interact with there? Like open up gates or something? There's no way the developer put a shortcut in by accident like that. That was that was a purposeful hole right there. Uh, okay, jump across. Okay, I got to a save point, so I'm doing something right, I guess. There we go. Like, every time I scan something, I have to, like, take a step back and actually process what I'm looking at. Uh, oh, oh, okay, I get it now. I'm back here. I'm behind here. What is this? What is this? Okay, so a little bit confused about what's going on here. Let's drop a burst. Uh, okay, so this is weight stuff and metal stuff because that is a metal fence there. But I don't understand why that matters. That stuff there matters. And then I'm here. <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Oh. Alright. So... We're still kind of confused. Okay, whoa, okay, we'll just... I did nothing different. I've approached that thing like three times already. Okay. Sure. So I solved the, the puzzle of the gate, I guess. That was the first one. I guess I'm going to have to eventually lead to there. Okay, yeah, I forgot about the scanner. <laughs> I was like, I can't see anything. Why can't... Oh, right, yeah. The whole mechanic of the game I've been playing for like 45 minutes at least. Okay. Well... Um, huh. Can't really go there. Do I fall down? Yes. Okay. I was like trying to, I was trying to run while I was, or to move around while I was doing the burst scan just to see if I could get more stuff recorded. Oh, there it is. There it is. Damn, this game is just a tease. It's like, here you go. You want to you access the button? Right here. Right here. You can get it. Ooh, don't have to try faster than that. Ah, this is the giant maze. You guys know how I feel about mazes. Alright. Alright, well. The one thing I don't like, I, I like less than a maze, is a maze where I can't see the walls. I can't crouch. I don't know why I can't crouch, but I can't crouch. Okay, so here. Yeah, okay, this is good. Okay, this is promising. This is... Not as promising as I hoped it was. Yeah, I've been there before. Uh, okay. I was here multiple times. I have a feeling I need to get on top of the pipe somehow. Let me... Loop around... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Blue. Blue. Blue blue is good. Okay, so I want to get to the right here. Maybe I don't. Uh, wait, what? Hold on, how do I? Okay. All right, all right. Game. You wanna, you wanna give me a little hand here? Maybe a little, little bit, a little bit of guidance. Can, wait, can I crouch? Nope. Z zooms in. You wanna see the options? Actually, this game is like very basic. Look, at this. that's all I got. I don't even have access to to like controls. I. Think there's no way to. Oh, okay, that was weird. 
Pretty sure there's no crouch. Which is a weird idea, but sh I mean, why not? But what if I do the burst? Oh no, if I'm too close to the wall, the burst cancels. The burst got canceled. Well, that, that was great. Right, maybe the opposite. Instead of me trying to go to the other side, we try to loop around. Maybe there's a crack in the wall somewhere around here. No. Nope, not it. Not that. Not that. Oh, wait, maybe over here? This is all new. This is all brand spanking new. Hasn't been touched by my feet at all. Okay, I found uh, something yellow. Yay. Yellow signs, yellow things are a good, good sign, for sure. Uh, is that good? Is that okay? The fact that I'm down here, is that, is that a, a big deal, a bad, a good deal? Okay, I guess I'm fine. Guess, guess it's just my tootsies are wet now. Alright, cool. So we found our way over here. Can take this. Take the magical path over here. Now let's try this. I'm just gonna walk up to it. Yeah, okay. So that time it worked. The other time it didn't though. That was really weird. And then I could take these stairs up, and this should lead me to a gate that that one gate that I was trying to get to that was locked. Which is now open. As well as Yeah, okay. Back up here. And then that gate's open. Awesome. Now what's this? Is this an elevator? Yes it is. Cool. Your move, your move, your move, your move, your move. Yu-Gi-Oh! Honestly, the first note does that it got stuck in my head. Immediately jumped in there. Right, let's do a burst while we're here. This is a long elevator. I have a feeling we're going to be here for a while. Possibly even long enough for me to burst again. There you go. Let's do it. Burst! Oh my god. There's, there's like no end in sight. Oh, wait. There's an end in sight. I see, I see a ceiling. I can see a ceiling. Do you want to see a ceiling? Awesome. Okay, we're almost there. Like this game has some really weird drawn out sections. Like you're not Metal Gear Solid 3. Calm down. You're not making me climb a ladder while playing the song Snake Eater, which is actually a really good song. I gotta say. I gotta be honest, that sounded like Nightmare for Christmas. Like there was a really strong Nightmare for Christmas vibe on that last on that last dun 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 dun, dun, dun with the guitar and like that. Oh, it was really yeah, I'm still getting now I'm thinking like Jack's Lament. Oh, I can't get it out of my head now. How many times do I have to relive this? I knew it! We died in the cave. I knew it. We died in the cave, and now we have to relive our uh this is our hell. Always the same rock, the same metal, the same stale ale. Air? Stale ale. Ugh. Fate worse than death. Stale beer. And the guilt. Uh, are those... Is that... Are those stars? I just want to see my family again. Hey, we're outside now. Oh, there they are. Hey, family! I don't know how I died.
Of all the memories I'm forced to relive, it's the one I don't remember. Oh, here we go. Oh, our family looks nice. Are they actually moving? Oh, they are! Huh, I thought they were just like... They were always here for me. I thought that they were like fake models, but... Or, not fake models. I thought they were just models, but no, they actually are there. They're kind of ghostly, though, once I get near them. I guess they're throwing petals out, hoping I'm going to follow them home? Or something? Does my family know I'm dead? Because actually, that's a really good question. They might just think I'm lost in the cave somewhere. Okay. I'm guessing this is the end of the game, since it's taking me back into the cave. So, let me give my final thoughts, and if they're not my final thoughts, then they are my towards the end of the game thoughts. <laughs> uh, I liked it. I thought it was really interesting. I'm glad I picked it up for sale, though. I mean, there wasn't really much to the game. It's probably like a five-part series, maybe? It's a small series. Then again, Among the Sleep wasn't much longer, and that was a, I got that for like six bucks. But it's definitely more of an artsy project, I think, than more of, than less of a game. Uh, which I'm fine with, to be honest. I, I don't mind walking simulators. I know there's a lot of people who find stuff like Layers of Fear annoying because the fact that there's no real threat, and, and there's really no way to lose, whereas some people like me, really like amnesia because there's that constant threat of, threat of something behind you or there's always that spooky atmosphere. This was not scary, more as unnerving because of the fact that you never knew what you were looking at, especially when the water purse. I don't know what that thing that was in there, what those things that were in there were, but it, it scared me when it got me. I, I really was actually pretty cool. Um, Story-wise, I kind of called it. I was like, oh yeah, our character died. De our character definitely died who just like goes into like we woke up in the middle of a mine that's the whole thing i would be more interested in finding out how we died maybe that shows up during the credits here but it looks like this is just basically taking us back to the start of it all also i didn't like that i didn't like how it like cut between the areas i thought that it was gonna be like one continuous flyover showing us everything that we uncovered but it's still pretty cool uh, here's our cave back. Yeah, I just to relive it again. Huh. No, I, I never really liked the, uh, reliving your death kind of, kind of stories. There's, um, room 309, I think it was called. Very similar to it, where we had to reset every day and relive the, uh, relive our death and our friend's death. I don't know, that was a weird game, too. Oh, but there's the picture of our family that we saw earlier. But overall, I actually, I like the game more for the gameplay mechanic. It's definitely a very interesting and innovative one. Uh, Echo, not Echo, um, Stifle and Lurking have a similar mechanic, but they use like an echo location. So does Perception, where like you basically tap a stick, like you ding, and then the reverb picks up the surrounding area. And it stays up for a little bit and then eventually fades. This is actually cool because you're basically painting the walls to to your survival. Or not survival, I guess. And we're back at it again, the Krispy Kreme. Wait, this is weird. It's all I don't have my tool. Okay, I have my tool. Oh! Why am I red? No! No! Don't, don't tell me the ending seriously was that we became a monster. We became one of the monsters that were lurking, because if that is the ending, I'm actually more annoyed by the fact that that's the ending versus just we have to relive our death constantly. Ugh. 
Because, yeah, why would we have red dots for hands unless... Because the, the monsters also had... Uh, were visible without having to scan them. Oh. Oh, please tell me that's not the actual ending. All right, well, I still liked it, even if that did just ruin the game for me at that last second. Alistair, Lindsay, good job on the music. That was It was really nice. Uh, I'm sorry I made fun of the the Egyptian-sounding tone with the whole Yu-Gi-Oh thing, but it, the, every time I hear it, I instantly jump to it. But if you guys want to check this out, it's available on Steam. I, I There might be another ending, because I think there were two paths at the end of the game. The one that led to the family and the one that led further down into the cave. I'm wondering if you take the further down to the cave, if it has a different ending or something, or maybe it just, there wasn't an, an additional path. Okay, so a little addendum. This actually, this game actually really awesomely has a chapter select button option. So I could go back to the surface level. I think this was level eight and just see what's down here. Oh, well, okay. That answers my question. No alternative endings, just, just rocks. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments down below. Leave a thumbs up on the video. I really do appreciate that. And make sure you're subscribed to get updates on all this new content or go live while I'm streaming. And of course, as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Wow, 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 wow.